I recently finished Java Frameworks at WGU, and I want to share some of my thoughts on the course. Starting off, I thought the course was honestly pretty disorganized. One of the weird things about the course is that there is a ton of material in the Zybooks for this course. And for context, if this is your first WGU course, Zybooks is the online learning book material that you can use to learn the concepts that you'll need to pass the course. But there's just so much information. And even before getting into the actual Zybooks, there is a whole section of different Udemy courses that each can take several hours to do. So it's just a ton of material and it can be tough to navigate. Okay, should I really spend like two to four weeks going through all of this material before starting on what I need to do to pass the course, which is the performance assessment? Or should I go some other route? And it's really hard to navigate. I don't like that about the course. I do think over time I ended up liking the performance assessment a little bit better. And by the end, now that I'm done with it, I'm like, oh, okay, that was actually kind of cool. I wish there was a better roadmap for getting there in the course itself. I will say there is one Reddit post that's like a master guide to the course that is pretty much invaluable to the course. I like it because it doesn't offer any code that you need to actually code up what you need to do. It just offers a conceptual roadmap for what are some ways to go about doing what you need to do to, to pass that. For context, the performance assessment for this class, at least as of recording this video, requires each of us to make a Spring Framework web application using Java. And there are some really cool things here. Again, now that I'm done with it, now that I have my end product, I'm like, oh, okay, that's kind of nice. And I'll show my personal, I'm pointing at my laptop, and I'll, I'll basically record screenshots of mine just to walk through, okay, what this looks like on my end. And I, I thought it turned out cool. And what I would like to do actually is make it more robust, clean up the UI, make it look a lot cleaner, and add it to my portfolio just as another thing. Like, hey, I can do Spring Framework stuff now. That Reddit post, though, was invaluable conceptually to, to doing that. So... Yep, don't like that it's disorganized, especially starting off. Over time, I liked it more. I think the Java fundamentals, all that stuff is going to be helpful for having the basics down for frameworks. But I will say, though, that even though I didn't go through all the Zybooks, all the Udemy courses, there is one four-hour introduction course on Udemy in the first unit of the Zybooks. Well, rather, what I mean is there's a link to that Udemy course within that Zybooks thing. That four-hour course is super valuable. So I actually would recommend starting with that four-hour introductory course to familiarize yourself with IntelliJ as an IDE and also to familiarize yourself with the Spring Framework generally. A lot of that is going to transfer conceptually to the performance assessment. And a lot of the techniques that you'll use, for, for example, putting getters and setters, putting constructors, that's going to be helpful for the performance assessment. So I highly recommend that four hour Udemy course. And one thing I liked about doing that Udemy course is I didn't even know, but apparently all of us at WGU have access to Udemy courses, like just through our WGU login. And I learned that through this course. And now I'm just taking a bunch of, well, not a bunch, but I take Udemy courses for fun and for enrichment because we have access to it. I didn't even know that. So that was a fun bonus of this class. Definitely recommend checking out all the Udemy learning stuff ASAP. Really, you just go to wgu.udemy.com, at least as of recording this video, and you can log in with your WGU credentials. And then you can just start taking Udemy courses for free, which is pretty sweet. So that was a fun, like I said, bonus of this course. Let me see. So. On, one more thing I'll mention is that when I turned in my assessment, I got it returned the first time because I missed one slide thing for part J of the requirements and then I resubmitted it and it was totally fine. So thankfully that all got settled. I feel good about that. That's pretty much all I want to say actually. If you have any questions though about Java fundamentals, feel free to leave your questions down below. I respond to everything and thanks for watching.